Greetings all, I'm Coma. you're watching Coma Astro Photography. In this video, we're gonna do a multi-night project. We're gonna take pictures of the Veil Nebula Complex. Now, the Veil Nebula Complex is actually a supernova remnant. Scientists believe about 10 to 20,000 years ago, we'll call it 15,000 years ago, a star exploded. This star is about roughly 20 times the size of the sun. It exploded into a giant supernova. So what we're taking a picture of tonight is the detritus or the debris of that leftover exploded star, the supernova remnant. of the multiple nights we'll get an opportunity to look at framing uh, from one night to the next. We'll also get to look at how to orient your camera or rotate the camera to get the proper framing that we want on each of these items. Now rotating the camera to get the proper orientation is not as difficult as you might think. Uh, come and I'll show you why. Right here on the Zenith Star I got the focal reducer fill flattener. It's the flat 6A3.8 focal reducer fill flattener. And right here on the end of it, it has a camera rotator. And you can see that you have graduated degrees here along the uh, scale. And you've got an arrow here on the camera rotator. So it shows you the degree, the angle that you're currently pointing at. So to rotate your camera, all you have to do is loosen this little set screw here and then turn the silver ring and it turns your entire image train, rotates the entire image train. Okay, so we don't have to wait until the Veil Nebula comes up at 11 o'clock tonight to start working on our camera rotation. Uh, all we have to do, as soon as it gets dark, we'll just take a picture of the night sky. We can take a picture anywhere we want. Uh, we will then plate solve that picture and send the result to Stellarium. Stellarium then will show us the framing, that the position that our camera's in. We can now fast forward Stellarium until the Veil Nebula comes up over the horizon. We can move our camera over the Veil Nebula and it'll show us how we will currently be framed. Now if we don't like that, then we rotate the camera again. Take another picture in outer space, plate solve that, send it to Stellarium, and then we'll roll that down onto the Val Nebula and we'll see our new framing from that camera rotation. And we just keep repeating that process until, until we think we have the correct camera rotation to get the framing that we want on our particular part of the Val Nebula. Now certainly when it's time to take pictures, we'll need to fine tune that a little bit. And that's okay. When our first pictures start to come in in the Val Nebula, we'll make we'll make some fine-tuned adjustments, get it dialed in just the way we want it to, and then we'll just use our standard framing techniques from one night to the next. Here's the Val Nebula complex in its entirety, also uh, called the Cygnus Loop. The, this is the uh, supernova that exploded. The supernova remnants, uh, and it's typically divided up into three parts. You got the eastern veil here, that'll be our target for tonight, but then over here you got the western veil, uh, also known as the witch's broom, and then right up in here you got uh, Pickering's Triangle. Uh, those are the ones that I talked about earlier, but tonight we're going after the eastern veil nebula. Here in Stellarium, this is just a shot of what the uh, telescope is pointing at in its park position looking up to the north. Uh, from here, we're going to go over to this star right here called the Neb, and uh, that's where we'll do the first uh, mount synchronization. We'll do our focus there, and then it's just a quick hop right down here to the East Vale Nebula. Uh, let me see. Um, 
And I think, yeah, I've still got it. I've still got it on that star I showed you we were going to. So that's our plan. We'll go from there. Okay, I've got the Western Vale Nebula called up in Stellarium. You see it there in the uh, box. Uh, I've gone ahead and picked out a star ahead of time. I believe it was this one right here. Uh, put the red X on it to be at the center of the framing uh, for this object. Now I took the right ascension declination coordinates. You can see them right up here from this star and I plugged that in as a custom object in my point craft. So when I tell point craft to go to my custom western bell or the witch's broom, it's going to go right here to this star and uh, that's going to put me on target. So it looks like the uh, witch's broom uh, get, hits 26 degrees at time 2312 local time. That's local east coast time. So that's what time it's going to clear the roof of my house. Okay, here we sit in Stellarium. Right now the uh, mount is pointed uh, up towards the north celestial pole in its parked position, uh, looking this direction. Uh, when we get ready to launch, the plan is going to be uh, we'll zoom right over here to this star. This is called the Neb. Uh, we'll do a mount synchronization there, we'll do our focus, and from there just a quick hop then down onto the Western Vale Nebula. So that's our navigation plan from the park position over to Deneb, synchronized focus, then right on down here to the uh, Witch's Broom, the Western Vale Nebula. Okay, I'm back with you. We went to Deneb. Uh, sink the mount, got focused, and now we're over on the Western Vale or the Witch's Broom. You see it right here. Uh, I fooled around a long time with uh, point craft and the aim function uh, to get it framed up just the way I wanted it to. Uh, you see there was no star right here uh, for me to point at, so I just kind of had to mess around with the aim function until I got it just right. I did have to rotate the camera uh, from uh, last night when we did the Eastern Veil, vale. uh, but uh, fortunately I took, I took some new flat. When I realized I was going to have to rotate the camera, I went ahead and took some flats uh, at the rotation that I, where I shot the Eastern Veil. Vale. Uh, so then I was, felt free to rotate the camera to get the witch's broom framed up just right. So this is how I have it framed up right here. Exposure finished. Dithering started. And our first HA exposure of the witch's broom just came in. So let's go take a look and uh, here it is right here. So you see it's displayed on the screen here 90 degrees uh, turned from the from the way it, it shows here. But that's the same framing. So here's the witch's broom right here framed up just like we wanted it. Dithering finished. Exposure started. I want to show you the, uh, some of the images that I got last night on the Eastern Veil. Vale. Uh, the Eastern Veil, vale of, of course, is this portion over here. And I got uh, just shy of six hours on the Eastern Veil. Vale. So since I'm only doing uh, hydrogen and oxygen on this, that's three hours each. I think that's going to be enough to uh, finish this one off. Hopefully I'll get that much tonight on the Witch's Broom. And if, if that's so, then that'll only leave, leave uh, one more night to get Pickard's Triangle. So here's the first hydrogen frame that I got on the Eastern Vale. Uh, you see it right in here. Go take a look on Stellarium. It looks like it's, uh, it too is about 90 degrees out. So this is what Stellarium shows us the Eastern Vale nebula should look like. And this is what I got last night. This is one 10 minute hydrogen exposure. Let's scroll down and take a look at some O3. There's an O3 exposure. Uh, it, it's uh, pretty, good, pretty good data in there. So six hours last night on the Eastern Vale here, there's an uh, HA and an O3 frame. 
We just got a second image in on the witch's broom. That's our second 10 minute exposure. It looks just like the first one. Thought I'd take a look at the guiding here. Uh, guiding looks uh, pretty good tonight. Uh, down the total RMS error down there, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.71. I'm used to seeing around 0.8, uh, so I'm happy with this. Anything under one, I'm happy with, but uh, uh, this this is okay. And the reason it's uh, better than it was last night is because there are no clouds out there. It's completely clear. The seeing is good, and we are you can uh, tell up here we're uh, 48 degrees uh, up in the sky, so away from the horizon. Those are all things that contribute to how good your guiding is. So I'm pretty happy with this guiding right now. Just hope it stays that way the rest of the night. Okay, here's our first 03 image of the night of the Witch's Broom Nebula, the Western Vale Nebula. Uh, that's a lot of signal there uh, for the oxygen. If I go and call up a hydrogen, one of our hydrogen pictures, just take note of the difference between the hydrogen signal and the oxygen signal. So here, this is the hydrogen image, and you see that there's less signal than coming up the oxygen signal. So that's interesting, but I guess to be suspected. Okay, I've got the Pickering's Triangle region of the Val Nebula called up. Uh, you can see here where this little circle is around. I've uh, chosen this star to enter into PointCraft. So when I tell PointCraft to go to my Pickering's Triangle, it's going to go to this star right here because that's what I programmed it to do. Now the red uh, X over here is really where I want the center of my image to be. But you see there's not a star there that I can choose. So I cho just chose a nearby star. It's going to go to this star. And then what we'll do once we get there is just take a uh, framing image long enough to be able to see the outline of the Pickering's triangle. And then what we do is use our aim function to adjust it over here uh, to about where this red uh, cross is that will give us this framing here. Okay, the first 03 frame is in. You see it right here. Not as much signal as I was expecting, especially for a 10 minute exposure. But again, once we stack all this, you know, I think it's gonna be good. Here you can see the Pickering's triangle up here. Uh, I'll just go back to, to a HA real quick. You see there's actually more hydrogen exposure, Pickering's triangle down here, than there is uh, 03. But when we stack it, there's going to be some good signal there. So I'm expecting uh, we'll have a pretty good picture. So that should be it, uh, and I will see you at the video. I hope you enjoyed your night uh, on the pool deck film and the Pickering's Triangle. That wraps up our imaging sessions on the Bell Nebula. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you especially but if you especially like the video, go ahead and click like, and of course, ring that bell. Till next time, clear skies.